Don't you know that there are so many activity books created by low content book creators and you feel the need to create better quality activity book to stand out from the competition? Today, we're going to be talking about how to create a puzzle book using Book Bolt to sell an Amazon KDP. So let's get into the video. Hey guys, my name is Christina Ramos. I create self-help journals to sell an Amazon KDP. Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for future video updates and let's begin. The one thing that I see about activity books is that they are selling well. See the search volume here and the best seller rank. So what is an activity book? An activity book is simply a book full of different puzzles combined together into a single product. These are not full word scramble books or books full of mazes. Think of an activity book as one page of word scramble, another page by word search and followed by a maze and then by a crossword puzzle. The problem here is that puzzles will take you ages to finish when you do it manually. Here in Bookball, you just have to sit down and create a puzzle with no hassle. So first things first, let's get to know the tools and software. So you need Bookball Pro account, puzzle with software and the KDP account. BookBold is a low-content book publishing software where you can create and scale a book publishing business without writing a single word. BookBold acquired a software called PuzzleWiz.io. This software allows you to generate puzzles, and this software is included in your BookBold Pro account. Now, if you want to head onto PuzzleWiz to start creating puzzle books right now, then grab the free BookBold Pro account for one month. The link is in the description. So this is valid for one person only. Use the code Christina giveaway. How about KDP? KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. It is a platform where you can publish your own books. So sign up to KDP to get started in creating and selling no content and low content books. I already have my pro account. I have signed into BookBolt and I'm going to click the icon and head on to PuzzleWiz. Once you are inside a PuzzleWiz backend, you will notice that PuzzleWiz has multiple types of puzzles that can be created. We have Sudoku, Norikabe, Crossword, Word Search, Hangman, Cryptogram, Word Scramble, Missing Vowel, MindFinder, Maze, Kakuro, Grayscale, and Connect the Dots. Nurikabe, Hangman, and MindFinder are the new releases inside the PuzzleWiz, and this is available to all BookBolt Pro subscribers. I will be showing you how to create a puzzle called Hangman later. When you click on Tutorials, you can see videos here about how to create puzzle books. And now let's create a Hangman puzzle. Hangman is a paper and pencil guessing game for two or more players. One player thinks of a word, phrase, or sentence, and the other tries to guess it by suggesting letters within a certain number of guesses. And let's continue. You have the option to select bleed or no bleed. For the size, you can choose 5 by 8, 6 by 9, and 8.5 by 11. For the paging style, you can choose double-sided or single-sided. And this is for the number of pages. This is the example file and you need to make a file like this to upload to PuzzleWiz in order to create the puzzle. Files should be separated into sections per page by an empty line. And the number of sections should match the page count. It says here that files should be separated into sections per page by an empty line and the number of sections should match the page's count. Count of words per page depending on PDF size, 5 by 8 is 48, 6 by 9 is 50, and 8.5 by 11 is 84. And file extension should be CSV and should contain a single word on each line. Now 
you have the option to check the boxes here for use random words or sentences if your file is not meeting the requirements you have to include solutions match puzzle and solution page numbers and page numbers once you're done with all the setting you can click submit and download your document Always remember that larger number of pages requires more time for the document to get processed. For this puzzle book, I'm going to select bleed 6x9, single-sided, and since I have 6 sections in my CSV, for my pages, it's going to be 6. Then go to font. You can select the font that you want from the drop-down menu. These are all Google fonts and available for commercial use. I want my puzzle book to have page numbers. I click on select file. I already have here my self-care file ready to upload. Then I'm going to click submit. Click on download your last document and save. And this is the result. Let's go back and do another setting. I'm going to check all the boxes. Select file. Click open and submit. Click and download your last document. And this is the result. And it's your turn to create your own puzzle book. This ends our video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.